don't know how about you, but when I was growing up, I was so hoping to be wild, deeply sensual and sinfully knowledgeable woman when it came to men. But I knew nothing. But today my reality is different and one of my most favorite tools how to love on men is massage. What I want to show you today is actually an ancient type of massage that is not very well known these days. It is mostly practiced within tantric communities or in massage parlors. But it is such an incredible shame because this tool is made so much difference to my life. It boosted my confidence. It made me so secure and confident with what I'm doing to men and also gave me a incredible understanding of what sexuality can actually be like. So the practice that I'm going to introduce you today is Lingam massage. Lingam is a Sanskrit word for penis. It otherwise means also pillar of light. Lingam and penis may be addressing the same body part, but their meaning is very, very different. Penis is a name that we give to a specific body part and it's very physical in its sense, whereas lingam actually encompasses the whole masculinity. It is a symbol of respect, of honor, of power, of strength, of all the qualities that we love about the man. And lingam massage is a practice of not only massaging his body and massaging his penis, which I will show you how to, but it is actually taking it to a whole new level where you actually honor the man himself for who he is. And hence the experience just escalates to what is possible, the levels of pleasure that it brings as well to both you as a giver or to your man as a receiver are absolutely insane. And just the whole thing blows my mind because this is something that we should be taught in our sex education, but we're not. It's not even a common knowledge, but I would love to change that. I would love you, the everyday woman who has a partner at home, know this practice so you can bring it into your household and you can actually massively level up your love life. So let me show you what is it all about. There are seven very simple and specific steps that we're going to talk about. So step number one is setting an intention. I am bringing this up on purpose because generally when you are giving your partner a massage, you just want to make him feel better physically. Lingam massage is about that as well. But as I said already, Lingam massage is very much about honoring his whole masculinity. So it is very important or um, the way how to reach really the potential of what lingam massage can give you is to come to your partner in service to be there to honor him to be there to respect him to be there to admire him to really hone in on the beauty of who he is as a man so your touch then becomes almost like a prayer celebrating all that he is Step number two is preparation. Step number two is all about preparation. When you are going to get a massage, you don't want the environment to be disturbing. And you don't want to hold your phone in one hand and massage him whilst you're honoring him. It's just not going to work. And the whole environment and the lightning and smells can really create this ritualistic experience. I personally love creating these spaces because it just shows the way you care the way you are committed to this relationship. Your actions show more than the words. And step number three is honoring. So this is something that you're definitely not going to find in normal massage when you're massaging your partner. As I said, Lingam massage is all about the celebration of his masculinity as a whole. So the honoring can have many, many, many different forms, but it is all about you showing your love, your care, your celebration of him, your devotion to him, you being in service. So one of the forms one can do that is uh, being in sitting across from one another and looking from eye to eye. Um, another way could be that as he's standing, maybe undressed, you actually kneel in front of him and bow to him. 
And I know this might sound a little funky, but it is incredible that sometimes we tap into practices that were um, done many thousands of years ago and they were there for a reason. It is a show of respect and certain dynamic between a man and woman that often today we have forgotten and this can actually bring us back. Um, so if this feels too challenging, bowing in front of him, just sit down um, and look into each other's eyes and just let your love pour through you. Step number four is full body massage. So the full body massage is exactly where the massage is as any other massage. It really has its place here because if you just um, get to his genitals, um, it can be still very pleasurable for men, right? Like men get excited pretty easily, but you're kind of robbing him of the opportunity to actually relax a little bit deeper, really allowing him to just like go down through the layers of relaxation is a beautiful way how to prepare his whole body for what is to come. Because what is yet to come is now number five, the lingam massage itself. Lingam massage is a beautiful way how to work with his penis in a little bit different way. Men are very accustomed to providing themselves with certain type of pleasure and also having women to just do the traditional hand job. But lingam massage invites something different. Lingam massage is not outcome oriented. It is very much about the sensory experience that the man can have. So there is a variety of moves that actually kind of like give him the different sensations that he can experience on his whole penis. And the funny bit is you might think that you are postponing his pleasure and he's never gonna get there and he might be mad, but truthfully men actually love this because they experience more pleasure. It's more nuanced, it's slower, but instead of like going to the peak of the orgasm, their experience widens. So they just start and they feel more pleasure and more pleasure and more pleasure. And eventually when they orgasm, it's like this whole wide cauldron of an experience. And so often I had men when I was doing the massage to them, like shake and be absolutely mind blown that this is actually available to them. Because truthfully, linga massage can be done for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes. Oh, it's so damn good. Um, and I dare you to try um, some of these following moves. You got me mesmerized, you're always a man.
are up to number six. After you have done all these delicious moves, maybe you're asking what is next? Well, it is the finale, um, but not I invite you to not do it in a traditional way. The traditional way would be if you are giving your man pleasure with your hand, you would make him come, right? Now, in Lingam Massage, what we encourage is not be focused on the outcome and actually not get to the outcome of orgasm. What it does, it actually creates a different energetical circuit within the body where one, when is thought how to connect more to full body orgasms or multiple orgasms um, but we still need some finale right so what we do for that is actually we use breath work and there is a specific breath work that I would explain to the man actually before I even start so he's familiar with it so when I invite him to breathe this way he will know what to do so let me show you how this breath work looks like and then I'll explain it to you. So this has been like a shorter version. There are several things that happen. First, you invite the man to start focusing on his breathing, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. It is a little bit slower. He's just starting to get there, but the intensity in his body will increase, the energy will rise, and he will be more reaching towards the peak which is very energetical, by the way. The peak is energy. It is not the physical experience of ejaculating. It is just energy, energetical orgasm more so. Um, second stage is about speeding it up. So eventually, I invite the man to keep speeding up um, according to where he feels comfortable until he gets to the fastest possible um, and this will just like rush the energy up and um, it allows him to guide his experience but also just go to that space and to that edge where he will feel uncomfortable he will feel hazy and maybe you know a little off and he will want to stop but it is exactly like riding the edge as much as he can and doing good like 30 breaths like that it's not just about doing three four five it is really going do, doing this breathing for quite a while until he really reaches the third stage which is the point where he can no longer do that he's at the maximum of his capacity of breathing so he goes into holding with the holding I hold at the top of my breath, right? Like after inhale, hold. And what he does also, what you invite him to do is squeeze every bit of his body. So every muscle on his body, he squeezes it um, as he's lying down. Squeezing, squeezing, holding, holding, holding as long as he can. And when he can't no more, that's when he finally lets go. Me just showing you my body temperature increased incredibly. I started to sweat. And this might be a little bit funny when you're trying it for the first time, but I invite you to try on yourself so you're more familiar what it does and try each stage, you know, breathing in this way, a little bit slower for like a minute, then trying faster for another minute and then holding and see what it does to you. And invite your men to do that because what happens after is usually men really falling into really strong yin space kind of relaxed zen space um, they might get body shakes they might feel really light um, they go really into strong release that is energetical it might be even emotional release um, 
and it is a beautiful space a little bit different approach to like how to experience the peak and that brings us to number seven which is winding down i want to bring it up because this massage is a little bit different than your normal massage the release can be quite stronger um, it is more sexual but that also does not mean that it just always leads to sex so I want you to really practice awareness to see where your partner is at and providing him, providing him with what he needs in that given moment. Sometimes he might want to be touched, sometimes not. Sometimes he needs to be alone, sometimes he wants you close. Sometimes he might be emotional, sometimes he will be laughing. Every experience really creates a different experience. So. Just be aware of his needs instead of turning it something that you desire. You are there in service and this will come back to you, but not maybe right away. And that is the whole beautiful experience. This is what Lingam Massage is about. Um, it is a beautiful gift to your partner, incredible way how to massage your partner. And um, I find it absolutely incredible gift to myself as well, because for the massage to be really good, the more sensual I am, the more better I feel about me, the better experience I give. If this is something that resonates and you would love to learn more, um, I invite you to find my email in the description and let me know because I'm putting together a course so I can let you know the details. Um, otherwise, have a beautiful day and I'll see you another time.